Hey guys, I'm Anna Shishma here and today I wanted to review the Frank Body Anti-Makeup Cleansing Oil. Um, I've been using this since November and I haven't bought a new one. It sounds like I have like about this much left and I tend to wear makeup almost every day of the week um, for work. Um, but now that we're in quarantine, I guess I will lessen the amount I use this. But today I felt like doing something different. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this look. Um, I tried to do those like little devil bun things. Um, kind of came out a little bit wonky, but I like how it looks. It was just a fun look, but obviously I have on a lot of makeup. So I thought why not review this to show you guys um, what it does. So this is what the bottle looks like. Um, it's pink and it has like dark brown detailing. It does have like a brown cap to put on top of this, but I lost mine. But it does have a cap if you purchase this and it'll protect the pump from pumping wherever. And I was interested in this brand because I was trying to be in 2019, I was trying to be cruelty free for 2020. So that's why I saw this brand and I wanted to try it out. And they're cruelty free, I think it's an Australian brand. And I purchased this from Ulta for $23.95. You get 80 milliliters or 2.71 fluid ounces. Um, to me that's a lot, like I said, I've had it since November, I wear makeup basically every day and I'm down to here at the moment um, and it's March now so that's pretty good. It says panda eyes are not a brunch look babe, true. It says um, only tested on babes, so there we go. Before this I used micellar water but I saw that cleansing oil was better than that so that's why I gave this a try and I really like it. So with clean hands you're going to pump a little bit into your palm and then I like to just rub my hands together and then you just put it on your face with makeup and you know start rubbing it in. And I know that sounds weird because it's like you're literally your face is dry and you have makeup on but you're putting oil on top. Don't worry about it, it'll be fine. And then after you've rubbed for a little bit and you notice a lot of it coming off or breaking up um, then you can add water and then just cleanse your entire face. So I use micellar water before this and then sometimes I use um, the makeup remover wipes just depending on what I have on. And I will say this really like you can see the makeup breaking up. I think out of the three the makeup remover wipes are probably the worst option just because it's not environmentally friendly and also because I feel like it just doesn't get um, everything off of your face like you're wiping it but you're just kind of like swiping things in different directions and you might get some off but not everything. This really helps you get all, basically everything off. The only thing I'm always um, a little bit hesitant about is around my eyes. Um, so yeah, let's just hop into it. So I know I look crazy, but I have um, a bowl of water in front of me um, because my bathroom it just doesn't have the best lighting to film. So I'm just going to do this in my living room and hopefully it doesn't spill everywhere. finished um, look is so it really got off like basically almost all my makeup um it's just around the eyes like I said I'm a little bit more hesitant um but it definitely I could feel it getting off the mascara I don't know if you guys saw but definitely took off a lot of the mascara I had on very um heavy full coverage foundation and that's like completely gone um yeah so I did a great job and if you're by the sink as opposed to holding a bowl over your face um you'll definitely have a much better experience and you'll probably notice a lot more off if you're doing it normally by the sink. Looking at myself right now I can definitely see a huge difference in what it did. Even I don't know if you guys noticed my like lipstick it was smearing like a light purple around and it got rid of that. So I really really like how this works. I have oily skin just for reference and I haven't had any irritations with this. If you have sensitive skin I would definitely check out some reviews but it's definitely worth it. Um, the only ingredient I see that 
you know, might be like a huge problem for someone is sunflower seed oil. I know some people don't like using that, but other than that, I don't see any big issues, but definitely check out the ingredients before you buy it. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this product. I like the brand so far, and you can definitely see the difference from when I first started to now. So yeah, one thing that's different that I really noticed about this versus using makeup remover wipes is that my skin is much softer. Like obviously, I definitely said it was cleaner, um, than using a makeup wipe, but it like, feels softer afterwards and it's not as drying. Like right now I haven't put on any moisturizer, no nothing. I literally just took off my makeup with this and then put water on and like use a towel to dry my face. So I don't have anything else on. Um, and my face doesn't feel like tight or dry at the moment. Um, eventually I do have to put on moisturizer and wash my face and all that, but it doesn't like right afterwards, you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. Like I always have a drying feeling when I'm using those Neutrogena makeup wipes, which I used for years and now I'm just like, nope, not using those anymore. Alrighty, this review is really, really short and sweet, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Um, and if you like this video and you would like to see some more, definitely subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And yeah, thanks you guys so much for watching. Bye!